Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house renovation video. Today we are renovating this house here called Miramontes, which is one of the base game library houses in The Sims 3. And this is a very strange house. It's probably the weirdest, most bizarre one yet by far. And you can see here, here's the living room with the exposed fireplace chimney um, and some interesting colors and a very kind of depressing kitchen. But yeah, this house has a very strange layout, which isn't fully captured in these um, kind of shots of the interior, but it's got some weird stuff going on. It's also like very large as well. It's also like the largest house, I think, in the in the library. This is the uh, main bedroom on the fourth floor. Yeah, it's a four-story house. And I just had to include this bathroom here so you can kind of see um, this, you know, beautiful level of design that the house had originally. We've got some like green and pink going on. But anyway, we're going to jump into the renovation right now. And the first thing I did um, was raise up the terrain because it's a four-story house, but the first level is kind of like a weird basement kind of level, even though it's fully above ground. And the front door is on the second floor. So I raised up the terrain in the front using constrained floor elevation. And this in my opinion, helps make the house look a lot better. It looks a lot less weirdly tall. And then um, I moved the carport, which used to be in the front to the side. And so that was like the main thing. And that was like the one thing I had in mind when I started this it was like, I knew I wanted to do that. Other than that, I didn't know how this was gonna go. This is like a really weird house. It's, you know, it's you can see it. It's very strange looking. And I ended up making this modern, actually. Um, I went in a modern, made this a modern house. And that's kind of like, I mean, the whole style is not modern. As you can tell, it's like kind of more of like a woodsy, it's not a cabin, but it's kind of like got cabin vibes. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but I had like some really modern windows in the back of the house, which was like really out of place. But I was like, you know what, I'll run with that and I'll make this more of a modern house. And um, yeah, so actually um, I just looked up the name, the meaning of the name, like right before I started recording this. And Miramontes is actually a name, in that, um, a Spanish name that means a place in the mountains, I think. I don't know if I'm remembering that right. I think it means a place in the mountains. Um, and, you know, because in the description of this house, there's a mountain house, even though obviously it's in the library. So it's really, you can place it anywhere. And obviously it didn't come in Sunset Valley pre-placed, you know. But I placed it on this lot up by the waterfall in Sunset Valley. So, you know, it's the one lot really in the world that is like among mountains. So I thought it was the fitting kind of location for this house. So yeah, um, this house has, um, yeah, four levels, like I said, and it has six bedrooms in it. So pretty crazy. And oh yeah, the modern vibe started with these windows, which if you've seen um, a few of my previous videos, um, you'll probably recognize these windows. I've kind of been using them a lot. <laughs> in a lot of my houses. Never like, I mean, with these renovation videos, I don't ever plan on using them, but they just like look so good that I kind of, it just kind of happens, you know? Um, so these are actually custom content. Um, it's the only custom content I have in my game, which is just like these set of windows um, and some doors that go with them. I really like these windows though. They're so nice. Um, and I've talked about them before in other videos, but um, you can download them. I'll have a link in the description to them um, and also like a link to where you can um, see instructions on how to install them. So yeah, you don't have to have them to download this house. Obviously, your house it might look a bit different, might be a bit wacky because um, all of the windows will be replaced. But I I really like these windows and they, they're great because of those triangle ones. So that kind of set the tune here. And that's when I went in a modern direction. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the perfect size for these triangle windows in, under the eaves. So yeah, they're really great. Um, and like, they're very modular. So you have like these end pieces and then like center pieces, you can make, make the windows as wide as you want, which is really cool. So yes, anyway, um, I'm using the modern, those modern windows on this house. And I actually kept the same color though. And like the wood shingles, um, yeah, I kind of adjusted the texture very, um, very slightly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Funny voice things. Um, I, yeah, I kept the text, the, the color the same, but I changed the texture. And um, I also changed the wood paneling. That like really dark gray wood paneling is kind of ugly. So I changed that. 
Um, and yeah, this is a big house. Like I was saying, this is a six bedroom house. This is a long video. This is like nearly an hour long. It's pretty crazy. I knew like, as I was like going along with this, like this is going to be a long one because it's just a big house. You know, it's four floors. Um, the original house had six bedrooms. Um, the end result also has six bedrooms. So I did not add any bedrooms this time. Although I am confused about the six bedroom number because I, I feel like there's only five, but the description of the house said six because like there's two on this level here and then there's one on the fourth floor and I think there's only two on the downstairs, like the bottom level. So I feel like there's only five, but in the library, the house is labeled as having six bedrooms. It says like six bedrooms, four bathrooms. And I think it does have four bathrooms, but... I really feel like it's only five. Like, oh my goodness. I really feel like it's only five bedrooms. My voice is giving out already and we're only five minutes in. Oh boy. Um, yeah, it is actually, I feel like it is only five bedrooms. So I don't know where they got the six from, you know, like if they're counting that weird room up on the very top, that's like where the main bedroom is like connected to, but that doesn't make any sense. So I think that actually may be an error, but Anyway, it's it's now in the end going to be six bedrooms um, for real. There'll be two bedrooms on the bottom floor, two bedrooms on the second floor, and two bedrooms on the third floor. So six total. And it goes from four bathrooms in the original house to five and a half bathrooms in the final house. So yeah, um, I don't add on to the house too much. I do add in a, like a new room, like a game room um, slash like just bonus room on the bottom level just for visual reasons because the house looked a little bit too skinny and tall and like it needed something else at the bottom I feel I felt like so you'll see me add that in but yeah um already there's quite a bit that's happened like the right side of the house is kind of on its final shape I feel like um you know which is good so yeah that I kind of I kind of made this bump out in like it used to like the whole second floor used to stick out over the first floor but I kind of made that smaller so it's just like this center section where these big windows are so it's not like that the whole way along I did that on the front and the back and then I got rid of the balcony that was in the front of the house and I just extended the roof all the way down over to where the front door is and I adjusted the shape of this giant like octagonal part of the house I kind of made it more of like a rectangle with like some angled walls sticking out of it. It doesn't sound great, but it, it looks much better. Um, and so, yeah, I also did a little bit of funky stuff with constraint control elevation here. So it's going to be a little bit of glitchiness with the walls in that section, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, just because I wanted this roof to look um, like that, you know, I wanted that roof to come down a little bit more. So it kind of blended in with the over the front door roof, the roof that's like over the front door area. And I also got this small little window, a floor level window to fit there, which kind of looks nice. I, I like it. But anyway, um, getting in some more windows on the front here and recoloring the doors and all that kind of stuff. And I switched out the railings with half walls because they look a lot cleaner and also makes it look like the floor is more substantial than like a tiny little paper thin thing. Um, so, you know, I think the half walls kind of make, you know, it could be thick. It makes it like it could be thicker of a floor. So anyway, um, yeah, we're getting coming along here pretty well, actually. I'm making some slight adjustments to the foundation just to match the shape, the changes I made to the shape of the house. And yeah, so the original house had these two staircases um, um, off the front door, one to the left and one to the right. So I wanted to keep that. So I did that um, as well here. So the stairs were being really finicky for some reason. I don't know why, but I realized I could place them individually and then it was better. But anyway, um, yes, yeah, a lot of constraint for elevation action going on here. But yeah, I I went with um, the same kind of stairs design, although now, uh, you know, the house is not on stilts like it was before. However, it wasn't on stilts, but it looked ridiculous. So now the stairs are in the ground. Um, and I'm going to put a like sloping pathway that goes down to the driveway as well, which I imagine would be the main way you'd get into the house. And those like front stairs are kind of as decorative. You're, there you can see I changed the shape of the up of the main part of the house here so it's less like an octagon and more of like a rectangle with like a that kind of part sticking out of it which makes it much easier to make it look good because it looked really strange before i also extended that bedroom up top i made it a little bit bigger just so it's like even 
because the house was like almost like the same on the front and back, but like slightly off and it bothered me. So I adjusted it so that it is now the same on the front and back actually. Um, it's just like the windows are different and it's like a chimney on the back and instead of a front door, but it's actually the same, same shape on the front and back. It's like, it's a mirror image, if you will, I guess. Um, so, you know, cause the house was all like, it was already like 99% there, but it was like slightly off and that made it like really annoying. It's like, you know, either make the front and back of the house look completely different, the same, but like, you know, don't make it like just a smidge off. It was like kind of, it just kind of wasn't right. Anyway, um, so yeah, down here I changed the shape a little bit, you know, so it matched the upstairs, got like that little um, chimney. And yeah, the whole downstairs layout changes quite a bit. And here's, you can you can see I'm adding this room in here because it's this giant like blank wall um, on the back of the carport. And I don't know, I just want like a nice outdoor space also off the main living area. So having that room down there helped um, do that. So now there's like a nice balcony up there and then another like, you know, back porch below. I think that kind of worked better. Now, yeah, the layout, the layout needed a lot of work. Um, it was truly, <clears throat> wow, my voice, geez, breaking everywhere. It was um, a truly bizarre layout originally. Um, it just made no sense. There's like the most bizarre shapes and angles and whatnot. So, you know, I'm, I'm simplifying it. So yeah, up here on the second floor of the house, um, yeah, there, there originally was two staircases actually going up to this like hallway that overlooked the main living room. So I decided to simplify it down to one staircase and then, which stays in the same place. But then I, um, I put in another living room kind of stacked above the, the one downstairs. So yeah, it's not like just a huge open, it's such a big room. It just was like a huge open space. And I also wanted to like divide it a little bit better on the first floor here, since I wanted it to be a living room and dining room. Cause I got rid of the separate dining room that was in the previous uh, house. So, cause I moved the kitchen over to be in that location. So, um, yeah, so I ended up actually putting a powder room right in the middle of this room, which I know might be a little strange, but it, it helped to like separate it. So you have like an entrance, a living room and a dining room. And they're like, you know what I mean? You have like these zones that are better separated. It's not like one giant, um, you know, room. And yeah, so what was the kitchen becomes a study and what was the dining room becomes the kitchen. And the kitchen's much bigger, much, much bigger. It's probably like double the size. And you have like nice big windows. The old kitchen had very few windows. And it's also um, more open to the living area of the house. So, you know, even though the stairs are there, there's not like, uh, there's like some openings in the walls. So it's not, um, it's not like completely closed off from from the rest of the house. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit more, um, open and yeah, because I changed the direction of the stairs from the, to the basement, I flipped them around. I had to very much change the downstairs layout. There's still two bedrooms and two bathrooms on that bottom floor. It's just they, they, you know, they kind of shift around a little bit, you know, I just had to change up the layout somewhat. And then of course, there's also that new room down there, which is like a kind of bonus room. So yeah, there you can see the new layout for the lower level. Um, got two bedrooms, two bathrooms. And then this up here, this bizarre Jack and Jill bathroom had to go. And so I moved the bedroom to be in the front with all those windows. And then I put the bathroom behind it because it doesn't need, the bathroom doesn't need to have the, you know, all that space. This top level, so I, so there's a big open room in that pink and green bathroom on the fourth floor, top third floor. I don't know what you want to call it top floor. Um, and so I make that the master suite. Um, so it has the huge vaulted ceilings now. And then what was the, that main bedroom is now going to be just a guest room. So it's two bedrooms up here now, two bedrooms and two bathrooms on that top floor where there used to be one bedroom, one bathroom. So yeah, that's pretty much, I think the floor plan, I think we're pretty much there. Um, yeah, I'm adding like the, a little balcony that kind of goes all the way around, you know, obviously the main view that you would want to capture in this house would be of the waterfall that's right next to it. But unfortunately, it's not really, you know, mainly all the windows are looking for the front and to the back. And like the balcony off the top bedroom is like off the other side. So unfortunately, it doesn't really capture the views that well, but that's just because of the way the house, you know, was originally. It's just, I plopped down an existing house, so I couldn't really tailor it to the lot. But I still think it works pretty well. You got views from the backyard and from that back deck. So that's pretty cool. Here you can see I changed the um, siding so it's less egregious. 
And the stone is the same though. Um, the shingles, uh, the wood shingles are pretty much the same, it's very slightly adjusted. So, you know, all of that is very similar. So, you know, the house is very similar color. It's very gray. Um, it's like, even though it's like a modern house, like, I don't know why it has like a kind of an, I don't know. It's like, it's like, it has like an older vibe to it because of like, like the weathered gray um, shingles makes it kind of look like a bit older, even though it is modern, um, like a modern style. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of interesting, but yeah, uh, that's the pool area. So there's gonna be a pool and a hot tub and all that kind of stuff in the backyard. Cause these, um, houses that come in the bin, um, but the Sims three, they're not furnished. I mean, they're not furnished. They're not landscaped is what I meant to say. Yeah. So none of them are landscaped. They're all just like on completely no terrain paint either. It's like no landscaping, no terrain paint, nothing, no trees, nothing. So, you know, obviously all of that was up to me to add on to this house. So I added, um, the whole backyard area, which will be, you know, um, expanded on near to the end. So anyway, there's still a few more windows, I guess, to add in here. So I didn't quite get all of them in, but I think they're pretty much all there almost at this point. So, you know, putting them in around that upstairs bedroom. And yeah, I guess I feel like I've been referring to the floors kind of all over the place. Like I've called the top floor, both the third and the fourth floor. But I think really the best way to think about this house is that the first floor is where you enter, like where the front door is in the front. So I think that's what I'm calling the first floor. And then there's the second floor and the third floor. And then below the first floor, I'm going to call the ground floor because it's partially underground now. So it's kind of like a basement-ish sort of deal. So this is the third floor that we're looking at right now. I called it the fourth floor like a few times. So that's probably confusing. But um, yeah, it's got two bedrooms up here now. We kind of have some weird walls because of the terrain, constrained floor elevation action. But you have the vaulted ceilings which is very nice, um, you know, with those nice triangle windows on the ends. I had a tiny little dormer for this bathroom because otherwise it wouldn't have a window. So that's pretty much, I mean, it's one of the few differences structurally for the front and the back. So this one has a little dormer and the chimney is the other main difference. Otherwise, it's just a couple windows are different, but that's really it. Um, yeah, so these windows are different. For the bathroom, I didn't want to have the full height windows like the bedroom has on the front. So I put... Um, shorter windows it's still you know very exposed obviously so there's blind there's gonna be blinds in there but it's yeah it's still very exposed um but you know got slightly smaller windows which i think makes more sense in a bathroom it's, it's a pretty cool bathroom though as you'll see as it as it comes along anyway uh what's going on now just working on the closets i guess up there um and then railings recoloring the half wall railings so they're the same kind of wood color, same, it's like a bluish gray kind of color. It's like, I don't know, on the, on the, on the paneling, it kind of looks greenish. I don't know. I, I think I adjust the paneling color because I think it looked too green, but anyway, we're getting, um, doors in now. So that's fun. Um, we're just getting them in kind of just all around. So just doing that, you know, very fun, very exciting. Just doors, doors, doors. At least this time I recolored them before placing them in. So I saved a little bit of time doing that. Whereas a lot of times I place all the doors in before choosing the color. So anyway, and then I have to recolor them all with creative style. Uh, I also added a door to the carport because I actually believe the original house didn't even have a door to the carport. So you'd have to like park your car and then go up all the outside stairs into the house. So I added a door there. So it's actually kind of nice because you park there and then that door you go into is like right by the staircase and that staircase goes like right up to the kitchen. So it's kind of convenient, I guess, it's as convenient as it can be, you know, with it being on a different level. But anyway, here I am creating the driveway. One thing that really bothers me about this a lot is that it doesn't touch the street. And I don't know why, like sometimes like the lots in like, worlds created by EA, like especially Sunset Valley. I don't know like why this lot doesn't meet the street because it could, and you can see here it doesn't. So the driveway looks dumb because it you can't reach the road. So I had to just, you know, fade it out. You know, that's why I did gravel. I did a gravel driveway, like fades to grass before it reaches the street because the lot doesn't reach the street. And that's why there's no front walkway either. Those stairs in the front just go to grass because there's no way I could make a walkway that goes to the road because of the way the lot is which is annoying. I don't, I really don't get why, why they did that. You know, it's weird, but it's fine. It's just like a tiny bit strange. Anyway, here I am coloring the half walls. So that's very exciting. And I think, oh, no, there's more. So just doing that here. Um, you know, more half wall action. Oh, even more up here as well. 
So just doing that. And, you know, can you believe it? We're 20 minutes into this and there's no furnishing yet at all. It's been like all, this house has so much going on. It was like, I knew there was going to be a big undertaking. Like this one was like, this one I knew was going to, this was going to be something. It's just like, it's just such a weird house. Um, You know, I didn't have, you know, any particular expectation going into this. I was like a little worried. Like I didn't really know what I was going to do with this house. But I actually really liked how it turned out. I think it turned out really well. Um, I'm very happy with the end result. And I think it still has enough, it has like enough of that like original like essence of the, has enough of the, has enough essence of the original that you can tell. It's like, oh, that's Miramontes. I feel like you can kind of tell. I don't know. Maybe not. But I feel like, I feel like it does. I feel like it does have that, that vibe still. You know, it's like the same overall shape and size. So it's the same color. You know, it's just got a different kind of, it's just more refined. It's got a slightly different vibe. Well, I said I just said it has the same vibe. It's it's the same vibe, but it's it's modernized. Um, anyway, so now we're working on that. Oh, we'll just put that some bathroom stuff in. I just was doing some layouts here, so it's like all the different bathrooms um, in the house. So, yeah, there they all are. Now you got a quick little overview of where the, all the bathrooms are again. And are we gonna start? Oh, maybe no, no, maybe I don't know actually. Oh, I do this wood. Um, this wood on the deck, but I change it. So it doesn't even stay that one. Um, I make a diagonal wood. Oh, there's a TV up there. That's fun. Oh yeah. So I actually, I created a second living room on the second floor to be like the TV room because the living room down on the first floor does not have a TV. So I was making that more of like a formal living room. And then that's why it's a second living room. Because if you were wondering, because I think I said before, there's two living rooms. That's why. One's like a formal living room and one's more of like a informal living room. Oh yeah, here's where I changed that siding color because, or paneling. Because it was slightly greenish. Even though it was like the same exact swatch color. Swatch from like everything else. It didn't match, which happens sometimes. But you know, it is what it is. Um, this house is all white walls. Every room has white walls. Um, except for some wood paneling just to keep that spirit alive of the original but yeah the house goes all white um on the inside and got some nice tile action going on in the kitchen area um yeah i like the tile it's nice um and here i adjust the counters we have a nice island there and some bar stools unfortunately there's no like informal dining area uh, um other than those bar stools i kind of wish there was room for one but there wasn't really, so it's, it's your main dining table. It's kind of like the main dining area, but you have a couple bar stools. So I guess you don't, you know, you can have snacks and stuff there, but not really family dinner, but I think it's fine. Um, here I am recoloring the cabinets and counters. So we have white marble, which I thought was very classy. I also carried that up onto the backsplash too. So I thought that was also very fancy and yeah, recoloring the upper cabinets as well. And I think that's like all the coloring of the kitchen. So all the, all the, all that kind of stuff. Um, the, the bar stools though are still not yet done. Um, it's also funny to see like how everything looks like when it's in process, it's like all the random floor materials and like wall materials, like in different rooms, like, so it's like so random because like, there's like bits of the original, like left and then like new walls built and stuff. Uh, it's kind of funny, but oh yeah, getting in some outdoor lighting, just a few lights around the house there. So there you go. Also removed a bit of wall there to make a column. So instead of a solid wall on that corner, um, and also some trees at this point, just for fun, you know, just to help me get a sense of how this looks, I guess, with some, with like not on a blank lot. So, you know, it blends in a bit nicer with the surroundings once you get some trees on the lot. Oh yeah, here's where I was putting in that aforementioned um, pathway to the driveway. So yeah, from the front steps there, it slopes down to the driveway, which I feel like is probably more likely what um, would be used as the front walkway because otherwise the lost stairs, you know, climbing up that hill, like all those stairs. I mean, of course, the original house had a lot of stairs as well. You know, it was a full, like, level and a half almost above ground, above ground level. And those are all stairs. So this house is a little easier to get to. We have a, you know, a sloping sloping um, pathway and then just some stairs, but not as many. Um, but yeah, the pathway also connects up atop here. So you can see how that works. So yeah, a little bit of a connection there. So you can use the um, stairs on either side, I guess, depending on what you want to do. I also added some rocks here just to 
you know, help with the terrain. It looked a bit funky, so I just added in some rocks there just to make it look nice. So yeah, that kind of just is where the carport is. It's still like pretty open actually, because there's just columns there, not a solid wall. Um, so it's actually kind of more open than it was before, but I think that's nice um, having like those rock walls. And I'll put some obviously plants and stuff. Oh yeah, here's where I changed the deck material yet again. And yeah, so now I'm going to do the inside, some inside stuff, I think, because, you know, we're already 25 minutes in, so better get some furnishing done at this point. Yeah, so you can see I kept some paneling just on this first floor, and then the rest of the house is all white. So yeah, very modern in that sense. Um, so yeah, you can see the upstairs area now. Um, so there's less of a, it's still like in that, and you'll see this in the screenshots, in the main, the main living space um, is, is uh, you know, still very open very tall feeling, you know, but you have that functional space now on the second floor as well, which is nice. So, you know, adding more room, more rooms to furnish for me. Anyway, nice plant there. Um, getting in some details here in the kitchen. So yeah, but the kitchen's almost done. Usually it's one of the first rooms I do. So, you know, it makes sense. And yeah, just doing that, getting in some more white paint and doing the hallway down here and some wood floors and stuff and all these rooms and you know, kind of, oh, wood floors everywhere. Also, yeah, all the rooms have wood floors except for the two downstairs bedrooms and the kitchen has tile. But um, yeah, uh, the, all the bedrooms on the upper levels have wood floors actually, which is very nice. Anyway, so getting a microwave in and a little mat on the floor. So there you go. And a little plant. So that's nice. But I think that's mostly it for the kitchen. I think we should be probably done with it at this point. Um, oh, a little plant, not, oh, maybe not, oh, yep, yeah, there's a little plant, a little flower, very nice, anyway, okay, so, yeah, moving on to this main living room, um, or this main living space, you have, um, this is, like, the formal living room, kind of, you got the fireplace here, but the not exposed chimney on the inside, um, in the original house, the chimney was fully inside, like, there was like on the first floor of the house, the brick chimney was like in like inside, not enclosed in walls or anything. Very strange. I, I don't know what that was about. Um, but anyway, so now um, it is on the outside of the house where it makes more sense. So anyway, uh, getting lights in kind of everywhere here. So, you know, why not? Lots of lights. Let there be light um, throughout the house. So just doing that right now being careful not to put floating lights because there are a lot of double height ceilings in this house. Um, and then over here, recoloring the dining table and chairs. I want to keep, you know, I like to keep some hints of the original. So you can see I saved the furniture from the living room. Um, I put it outside for now. So the brown of the chairs here is based off the brown couch that was in the original living room. Isn't that nice? And then the green couches, which are not green yet, but they will be green, are based off the original green couches that were in the house. So I try to keep, you know, some some semblance of the, you know, original vibe, but, you know, or I guess original colors and sometimes. I try, I try to keep it, you know, there in ways, in certain ways, although, you know, in this house, it's 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 only tiny little hints because mainly the whole inside is completely different. <laughs> so, and you'll see that in the screenshots, it's very unrecognizable from the original. Uh, so I added like little tiny detail there with that little fence there to separate the wood floor from the tile and your sim should be able to step over that. So that won't really impede any, any functionality. But yeah, so this is the formal living room. So there's no TV here, but you got a fireplace. I was going to try to use the original like texture from the couches, but it was so bad that I just couldn't. So I just took the green and I uh, went with that instead. So we have um, green furniture in here, which I think looks pretty nice, actually. And it definitely keeps that similar kind of theme from the original because the original had like the wood paneling, the green couches. And, you know, I think it, I think it works pretty well. Um, getting in something over the TV, I can't remember, um, over the fireplace, not a TV. Um, yeah, some art there. That's what I ended up doing. I didn't remember which one. So yeah, that is that really. It's actually fairly simple. This house isn't like super cluttered or like overdone, despite it taking me so long to, to make it. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a big house. So anyway, I did, uh, all the rugs there, recolored them slightly. And uh, what's next? Let's find out. I don't even know, really. Um, maybe the study. So this is the study. The house originally didn't really have a study. 
It kind of had that weird room on the top floor with like a telescope in it, but that was like it. So, you know, I guess maybe we're not doing the study right now. I don't really know what's happening, but, uh, oh, we are. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, I think we're not. Okay. Anyway, um, well, you know, the study now, so that's cool. Um, this, be- this bedroom up here on the second floor, um, is very different than the original. The original was super dark and depressing, and I think it's in the screenshots, actually, um, at the end, so you'll see that. <laughs> Really, really, really sad room. Also, it was a very strange shape. It had like weird angles in it because of like that main octagonal room the house originally had. It was super weird. So now it's a light and bright room that 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 looks quite a bit nicer. So that's cool. Right now I'm just doing blinds throughout the whole house. I'm not even doing that bedroom. So who knows? I know I was really jumping around a lot with this one. Oh, actually, this is when I put the stairs in. So that's fun. So yeah, there's stairs here. Um, so that you can get from the upstairs balcony down to the pool area directly so you don't have to go um, in the house and through those stairs so that's nice there's just a direct path right there and I'm just recoloring all the stairs and putting railings on them as well so yeah that's what's happening right there very fun um and yeah I guess I abandoned the study and that bedroom so I kind of that was a prank really but I guess you know we'll get to them oh yeah right here I expand the outdoor area quite a bit actually and even more so because I go around the pool. So yeah, very big expansion here of the of the outdoor pool area. So there'd be a lot of nice outdoor stuff going on. Uh, and I also fence it in as well because, you know, you're supposed to have a fence around a pool. So I usually don't do that, but I thought, why not here? It kind of, it kind of suits it. It doesn't look bad. So I kind of did that and went around because it's like a very nice, perfect rectangle. So it kind of works. And then I got a little gate as well. There's no gates that go with this fence though, which is very annoying. So I kind of just had to use that wooden one that doesn't really match, but you know, it's, it'll, it'll do, it's fine. So, um, it looks like we may be actually doing this upstairs living room. So yeah, this is, um, the less formal living room, although it's kind of funny because it's still the same room technically, because you know, it's like one, you know, they share like that same ceiling and it's like open to the other room below, but um, yeah, it has a piano. I didn't know what else to do with the space in here because it's like a huge, huge open space there. So I put a piano in. Very fun. Very classy. And yeah, I got lots of seating up here. Got a TV. Um, and you know, it's very cool. Also some details down here, a little electrical box and an air conditioner. And what else? Um, little shelves. I like those shelves. I think they're from Aurora Skies, but you know, they look quite nice. Um, there under the TV. I've been using them in quite a few houses of late. Um, and yeah, so that's all the furniture, I believe. Now it's time to recolor. So I, yeah, it's pretty simple colors in here. It's like white, white couches. And I got some nice curtains in here because there's no blinds to fit those square windows that are like halfway down the wall. And I was like this bluish gray kind of color for the rug. And yeah, so that's that. That was very speedy. Um, it's probably like a tiny, few tiny things I'm going to add, but yeah, for the most part, that is the upstairs living room. So pretty cool. There's also a stereo up here. There's also a stereo downstairs as well. And then I got some shelves um, in this hallway where these windows are. So I thought that'd be kind of a nice place to put some shelves. That's where the yellow horse lives. So he's not been forgotten in this house. You know, sometimes I do forget, but he's here. Um, so yeah, no worries. And then some decoration, just details, a little plant bowl, plant bowl, fruit bowl in the kitchen. I guess they're kind of, they're from plants. So anyway, this is the powder room, um, down here. So yeah. And I, yeah, so just doing that basically, um, you know, kind of color and color in the things. It's got some gray kind of color vibes going on in here. Um, yeah. And I think, you know, it's pretty simple. It's kind of strange, like in the middle of the house, but you know, that's just, that's just how it is. There's also um, a laundry room over here that I'm going to do as well. So yeah, pretty simple laundry room all together there. Um, and also, unbeknownst to you, probably, unless you can tell, I um, I just like paused the recording and just returned while we were doing the laundry room because I saw a giant bug crawling across the ceiling or wall, I guess, right above me. Um, and so I tried to catch it <laughs> just like just now I paused recording and I tried to catch it and it it fell. I got like a couple legs and they were still squirming, which is really horrifying. And now I don't know where the bug is. So it, it fell somewhere. It's either on my desk or on the floor under my desk at the moment. Um, 
So I really don't love that. So, you know, I'm just keeping my feet off the floor for now. Um, and yeah, I like searched and it is nowhere to be seen. So I really hate when that happens because I don't know, it's like one of those like big bugs that has like lots of legs. It's not like a centipede or anything. I don't know what it is. It's like, I don't know. It, I, I, I really don't like them. But anyway, so that was a fun little story that just happened while I was recording this. Um, I don't know. It's like, it's kind of funny. I haven't like, obviously I'm not done recording it. So I haven't like listened back to any parts of this, but I feel like I like got like really quiet for a little bit when I saw it first. I was like, oh my gosh. Anyway, um, right now doing this bedroom, which I started a while ago. So this bedroom um, is kind of supposed to be a teen's room sort of vibe, I guess, kid's room, teen's room. Um, out of like the whole house, there's like, no, oh, let me think. I think it's four bedrooms that are like kind of kids slash teens rooms. I would say like three bedrooms are kind of like teen, like older kids. And then like, there's like one bedroom that has bunk beds. It's kind of more like a younger kid's room. And then there's the primary bedroom. And then there's like a guest bedroom as well. So that's kind of like how I'm counting them or how I, how I designed them anyway. Um, so that first bedroom I did with a purple bedspread really has like no relation into like to the original room that was there. This one, actually you can see the green, there's like a little tiny bit of green in the closet. Oh, and the other corner over there, um, but the mirrors, oh, it's gone now. Anyway, it was like a very, very green, bright green room. So I kept a little bit of the green with the bedspread, though it's, it's very much toned down here in this room now. But yeah, so it was like kind of more of a green room. So I kept that that little hint of green. It also has like one of the best views in the house, like the study and this bedroom face the waterfall. It's like the only two rooms and the laundry room. Go figure. Um, oh, also, I guess the bonus room downstairs. So some of the rooms face it, but it's got prime views. Um, so this is the uh, bathroom on this level. So it's the only bathroom on the second floor. So it's kind of just for these two bedrooms and also I guess that living room. And that's right there. But yeah, it's fairly simple. Got a tub shower combo in here. And then I like this kind of fun. It's not even stone, really. I guess it's like little stones um, on the countertop and on the wall there. So and also on the on the tub shower enclosure. But yeah, so this is kind of, you know, a pretty simple bathroom. Um, yeah, it's got a little rug in here. And then I think I'm going to call it a day for that bathroom. So there you go. Um what's next? Who knows? Oh, some hand towels, actually. So that's what's next. Just recoloring them right now. Very riveting. Okay, so, um, oh, the closet. Yes, that's even more riveting, honestly. Yeah, so I added closets to these, to this house. Um, you know, that's what I'm doing with all of these renovations. Um, probably should have mentioned this before 37 minutes, but, um, you know, if you haven't seen any other videos on my channel and you've somehow lasted this long, um, yeah, I'm going through all of the base game houses that are in the library um, that, you know, are in The Sims 3 because you have like that library or bin, whatever, whichever one you want to call it, that's kind of in the edit town view. And you kind of see there's these like 15 or so houses that came with the base game but aren't placed in Sunset Valley. So I'm going through and doing all of those. So I like to add closets to these houses um, and just all my houses in general because they're decorative, but they like look more realistic. I just feel like, you know, it makes sense to have closets. So anyway, that's, that's, that's what I do. So this is um, the primary bedroom, which was originally just like a huge open room that served no purpose. It's kind of funny because the ensuite bathroom was the original bathroom. It's the same location as the original bathroom on this floor. So that's kind of still the same, but this is now um, the bedroom as opposed to a big open space with the telescope. And yeah, I got nice big windows in here, the vaulted ceilings, um, kind of like a blue color scheme, which I don't know why. Oh, because the bed. Yeah, that's why. The I, I took the bed that was in the original um, primary bedroom on this floor. It was on. It's actually on the, was on the other side of this floor where the other bedroom is now, but. Um, I took the blue from that, so that's why it's blue, and the same orange wood, so it's, you know, you see what I mean? I'm taking tiny little bits and things to tie it together, I guess, but it still looks very different, obviously, um, overall, so, you know, um, yeah, so, yeah, the, you, you, get, you get the idea. Um, <laughs> 
got the bed. There's a TV in here, which is nice. So that's kind of facing the bed. Um, and then you have this bathroom. So this is kind of a sleigh bathroom, in my opinion. You have the double sinks, you got the vaulted ceilings, and then half the room is like a wet space with a tub and shower, which is very trendy, I feel like. So, you know, I don't usually do that. I don't think I've ever done that, actually, where the tub shower is kind of in this big open tiled space with like that glass divider. I've done like ones where it's just the shower with like a glass wall, you know, like using that shower from the store. But I've never had the tub in there and made it like that big before. So it's, you know, very fancy. Um, if only the shower had looked nicer because it's like supposed to be like a public shower. But, you know, whatever. It's it's nice because it doesn't have its own enclosure. So you can make these like big fancy looking showers um, with it. And so it's pretty cool. You have the freestanding tub um, and there's like a little rack there with various decorative items on it. And then, yeah, also a towel. You'll probably get wet, but whatever. Um, and so there you go. That's that. That's the bathroom there. And getting some closed double closets in here. Look at that. Very rare. Very rare in my houses. <laughs> Got a double closet action in this bedroom. And then, yeah, there's not too much more going on in here, really. There's like a wardrobe, a mirror. I have um, this kind of, uh, ar- this, um, it's not an armchair. It's a lounge chair. I mean, it has arms, but it's not like, they're very skinny. Um, you know, this kind of lounge chair, so an ottoman, so that's nice. And here I'm just recoloring the rugs, and I think that's really it. Like, it's pretty simple, actually. Um, and so this is the guest suite, so this is where the bedroom used to be on this floor, actually. Um, and I added a second bathroom, a relatively small one, to be an ensuite for this. And it also has a balcony, too, which is pretty cool. Um, so it just faces a rock wall, kind of, you know, that huge mountain. <laughs> but it's still cool. And yeah, it's, so I originally was like, oh, this is like a guest room. Maybe it's like where grandma and grandpa stay or whatever. It's kind of like supposed to be a vacation house anyway. So, um, you know, old people aren't good going up four flights of stairs because this is like on third floor, but it's like really like the fourth floor because, you know, um, the ground level is above ground. So you still have to climb all the way up here. So I feel like, you know, in this case, maybe it's more of like a vacation home that's shared by a couple of families. So maybe you have like, Um, an aunt and uncle in this room and like the parents are in the other room you know what I mean like and then there's like the various children are in the other bedrooms it's like a vacation house sort of thing maybe I don't really know it doesn't need to be I guess that thought out doesn't really matter Um, it could also just be a guest room it's a very nice guest room so you know um, got I think it's the second biggest bedroom in the house probably and it's the only one with a balcony so that's cool anyway um, kind of like less modern furniture in here actually um but I wanted to mix it up a little. You know, every modern house doesn't have to have only modern furniture. You can have some other stuff going on. Um, the bathroom is a little small. Um, only has a tiny little tiny little window, but that's okay. It's not the main bedroom, so, you know, it's fine. It's just a guest room, but at least it has an ensuite, you know? Um, got your tub shower in here, sink, and toilet, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, there you go. That's the top floor done. So we're going to move on now to the bottom floor. So we got two more bedrooms and two more bathrooms down here. Um, So, yeah, these are supposed to be, like, more of, like, um, bedrooms for, like, younger kids, kind of. Um, So this bedroom here is going to have, or, well, the one I just, the first one I put the color, the carpet in. Yeah, this one here is going to have a bunk bed in it. So, yeah, and also both of these bedrooms have doors out to this Actually, all the rooms on this level have doors to the back deck. So both of these bedrooms do, the hallway does, and then the um, kind of bonus room does as well. So that's nice. But yeah, um, these bedrooms are they're actually pretty good size as well. And the other one actually is an ensuite bathroom, so that's very fancy. But yeah, this is meant to be a kid's room, kind of. So got the bunk beds, there's like a bookshelf in here, two dressers. Um, a mirror and then I put in like some beanbag chairs and like little toys and decorations and stuff so you know that's pretty much what 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 we got going in here um yeah so like fairly simple um kind of kids room sort of thing so there's your beanbag chairs and a lamp very nice and recoloring said lamp as well um a little alarm clock and a rug probably Let's see. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, fairly simple bedroom. I think that's pretty much it um, for the kids' room. Kids' room. My voice is struggling even more now that it's been like 43 minutes, 44 minutes now. So, you know, this is this this is a very long video. So long. I just don't really like splitting them up into two parts because it's just like, I don't know. I just feel like it's not necessary. It's just 
you're already here. Might as well just go go through the whole thing. Um, it just is very long. So um, yeah, right now we're doing this bedroom. So the final bedroom, yay! It's very exciting. So yeah, this one's a little bit bigger. Has an ensuite. Um, has a cute little rabbit rug. And yeah, um, it's kind of supposed to be like a girl's room or a teen's room sort of thing, you know, like it's, you know, in the middle, I don't really know. It's, you know, anyway, it's fairly simple. Got um, dresser there, a little chair, a little plant in the corner, got a bookshelf, pretty much it. Um, so there you go. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to recolor the clothes racks that are in the closets and then also going to do the bathrooms. So yeah, this bedroom um, has an ensuite, which is nice. Um, I think actually both bedrooms used to have ensuites down here, if I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, there's now one ensuite and one hallway bathroom. And so just recoloring stuff, adding in details. Um, you got like a nice counter in here, tub shower, toilet, you know, all the essentials, basically. And just recoloring all these things in here. So there you go, very nice and um a little rug so yeah pretty much it so and then we have the other bathroom to do as well so this one is pretty much the same sort of thing just a little bit smaller and it's, it's got blue colors in it which is fun so but yeah you got your sink your toilet your tub shower um and your nice tile floor there that matches the walls and yeah so that's pretty much um all the bathrooms this is the last bathroom so we're making progress we're getting somewhere <laughs> um so yeah there you go and I'm also going to get some bit of artwork there in the hallway. But our final room for the inside of this house, I believe, is um, the bonus room. So, yeah, this was just added on just to make the house look better outside. So um, you have a pool table in here, dartboard, radio, bookshelf, chess table, and a little sitting area. So, you know, it's kind of like a this is the bonus room, basically. I kept the lime green on the couches. I thought it was fun. I don't know. I tried it on the pool table, but it was not the right move. So I did not keep that. But yeah, the lime green is kind of fun. I don't know. So I kept that. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get like some plants probably in here. Yeah, there's a little plant over there. Um, and probably like a lamp. Yeah. So very nice. Um, little touches here and there. And recoloring the dartboard to match the pool table and getting some artwork on the walls as well. So I think, I think that's going to be it. Let's see one more painting. And are we done? I think we're done with the inside. So now there's lots of outdoor stuff to do because there's still quite a bit left in this video. So, um, yeah, I add an outdoor kitchen kind of, it's more of just a grill and some counters and a sink. So still cool though. I think, you know, a nice barbecue area, you know, it's a fancy house. So it should have a fancy barbecue area. And then lots of these lounge chairs, outdoor lounge chairs, of course, as you'd probably expect for a house like this. So um, yeah, there's like three down by the pool. There's three more up here facing the waterfalls, like two more on the front and then another one on like the balcony for the upstairs bedroom. A lot of them. Um, and here I'm just recoloring them. There's also two outdoor dining areas. So there's this one here, which is like off the kitchen kind of area of the house. So kind of on the upper level. And there's a smaller one by the barbecue area as well. So, you know, depending on, I guess, where whether you're grilling or whether you're bringing food from the kitchen, you have a couple of different options. Um, but there's your umbrella. There's also going to be a big umbrella down here as well by the, um, by the lounge chairs. So that's fun. And also moving the trash cans, adding a recycling bin, that kind of stuff. And yeah, we're going to fill out the rest of this area down here um, with a fire pit, which will be cool. That's the actual little outdoor dining table right there that's by the grill. Also getting in some lights as well. You know, it's more outside lighting. It's always good to have. Uh, so yeah, and then there's the fire pit and then also a hot tub. So very nice. Got to, you know, fill it all out. Got a pool, got a hot tub, got a grilling area, got a fire pit. Very nice. Very fancy. Some ground lighting, floor lighting, whatever you want to call it. I think that was kind of cool. Uh, and yeah, some pool ladders, also a diving board and a, f a fountain, <laughs> struggling to say that, um, and a fountain. So there you go. Um, and just recolouring the pool to match cause everything's gray. So, you know, got to make it on theme. And now I think it's just down to landscaping really. And also there is still, there is still a, um, telescope. It's just on the balcony for that upstairs bedroom because there was one originally, on that top floor. So okay, I kept it. Don't worry if you're 
probably you weren't even thinking about that, but anyway, um, I would say, uh, what have we got here? Like maybe two more minutes of building and then we'll be in the screenshots. So I recommend that you stick around. You know, if you've stayed this long, you should stay for the last, you know, couple minutes, right? And, you know, honestly be very impressed. Um, how, very impressed for those who stayed this long um, because this is a crazy long video. So yeah, um, there's gonna be some screenshots coming up. You'll be able to see the before and the after. So that'll be nice. And there's a lot of screenshots because it's a big house. You can also download the house. There's a link in the description below. Just keep in mind, I did use custom content windows. I'm sorry, I just really like them. So there's a link in the description to download those as well if you really want them. Um, and yeah, so as always, if you really enjoyed this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing. I have um, obviously lots more videos like this on my channel, so you can check those out if you haven't already. Um, and you know, I always love to hear your feedback in the comments. We have about a minute left, just doing some terrain paint at this time. You know, got all the plants and the flora and fauna in here. Um, and so, yeah, just adding terrain paint under all of that. And um, what else? I don't even know what else is left. I guess a few more things, you know, like 30 seconds worth of things. This house was a whopper. It really was. This was, this was a crazy one. This was a really big house. Um, a really strange house as well to, be, <laughs> to begin with. Really one of the weirdest ones. Um, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. But anyway, um, just doing some final touches, a little painting some black wallpaper here and there just to, you know, finish it off. Oh, I haven't done the outdoor kitchen colors yet. So doing those um, and probably a few more things and stuff, little tweaks. Anyway, I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this very long video and, you know, hope you, uh, you know, hope to see you next time.